Hey guys, so you may have noticed I haven't been putting out a ton of YouTube content lately. That's because you guys have kept me swamped with the sale that I just completed. Um, we sold probably 100 snakes. I got 31 boxes going out today. So we actually hit a warm spell here in Wisconsin. It's gonna be in the mid 70s today, uh, much warmer than normal for um, mid April here. So uh, I'm actually able to ship without heat packs. And it was kind of wanted to explain the whole process of shipping, like when I ship and, and uh, all that. So um, basically, um, you know, I, I use uh, styrofoam lined cardboard boxes and the snakes go into the box. I'll just show you real quick here. This is, so I've got paper crunched up in there that really, in, you know, insulates and cushions it really well. And then the snakes are in plastic tubs, uh, each marked with the, the um, morph, the sex, the hatch date, and everything and they go in here and then I'll pack more paper around that and then seal it up and then put the label on the top. So with paper all around it, it cushions the, um, the contents of the box, which of course are snakes, and having them in plastic tubs, uh, it also provides a little extra security in case the box gets uh, banged around or partially crushed or something, which doesn't really happen very often, but it, it could. Um, so they're, they're about as protected as possible. I've got several layers of paper towel inside of the box and also some crumpled paper towel that they can kind of wrap their tails around or climb underneath. Anything to make them feel as comfortable and as secure as possible. Uh, also, there's air holes in there. I get these pre-punched so they've got plenty of air to breathe and of course there's an air hole in the side of the box. And so they just go right inside like that and like I said, I'll pack more newspaper around there and then put the box top on and seal it up and then it'll be ready to go. So that's how I do my shipments. Um, sorry, I'm sweating. We just literally just got done packing these up and it's like 85 degrees in here right now. So excuse me for that. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, I had 31 boxes going out today. I probably have the same number going out tomorrow and more going out next week as well. So it's been extremely busy here. Um, is, and I want to go back to the process of shipping. I generally ship on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. The reason for this is because um, FedEx, uh, Monday gives FedEx a, a day after the weekend to kind of uh, move all their backlogged stuff out. And then it also gives me a chance to do some other things and not have to worry about shipping. Shipping is very time consuming and it takes up a lot of my day on the ship days. So I ship on Tuesdays and Wednesdays so that there's a buffer zone between um, when I ship and the weekend. If I were to ship on a Thursday and the package wouldn't arrive on Friday due to some kind of delay, it might sit somewhere over the weekend and not get delivered until Monday. That's obviously not gonna be very good for the snakes, especially in winter time when I have to use multiple heat packs in a box, it's not gonna be good for the snakes. So I try to ship on Tuesdays, that way if the package doesn't arrive on Wednesday, it'll arrive on Thursday, everything should be fine. Same thing with shipping on Wednesday. If I ship on Wednesday and it doesn't arrive on Thursday, it should arrive on Friday just fine. So, and I'm also always watching the forecast, both here, I'm up in central Wisconsin. Uh, you know, we're very cold for a lot of the year. Um, and so I gotta really pay attention to my forecast. I also have to pay attention to the forecast in Memphis, Tennessee, that all my shipments leave from here and they go to Memphis, Tennessee, and then they get redirected to wherever they're going. And then I also have to pay attention to the forecast of wherever these guys are gonna end up to. So I'm constantly on weather.com. I'm always checking the forecast everywhere along the line where these, these boxes are gonna have to go because it's really, really important to me that they make it to the customers alive, safe, happy, and healthy. So that's basically my, my uh, methods of shipping and the reasonings behind when I ship, when I ship. Um, I, I'm also very good with having over 23 years of experience shipping. I kind of know when are good conditions to ship into, when it's not safe to ship. Um, and also if I have to use heat packs, which I'm gonna actually have to go back to using a single heat pack in a box starting next week for probably a couple weeks yet before the you know, actual summertime weather gets here. Um, but uh, it's really important to make sure to heat pack properly and to not put too much heat in there, but you have to make sure you have enough in there. Uh, I position the animals inside the box away from the heat packs mostly. 
I've just, it's just a system that I've developed over many, many years, and I'm, I've gotten very good at shipping. My survival rate, as long as FedEx is moving on time, my survival rate is about 99.8, 99.9%. I mean, losses are, they do happen, but they're extremely rare, luckily. But I'm very, very cautious when it comes to opportunities to ship. I won't ship whenever I feel animals have a, a likeliness of being put into jeopardy because that's not going to make the customer happy. It's certainly not going to make me happy. Not going to make the animals happy first and foremost. So um, yeah, basically that's that's uh, my thoughts about shipping and how I ship. And as you can see, the sale went extremely well. We've got about this many going out tomorrow too and, uh, and more next week. So um, sale was so good, we might end up running it again pretty soon. So. Uh, stay tuned for that. Make sure to uh, please like and subscribe. Also check my website, royalconstrictordesigns.com to see what I actually have available. Um, I had about 600 snakes on there, probably have about 500 yet, and we've still got um, a few hundred more that we're gonna be posting over the next couple of months too. And then the 2023 babies will start coming. So I need to make room for 2023 babies here. So that was the purpose of the sale. So anyway, hope you guys enjoy this, learn something about shipping. And uh, I'll try to be back again very soon with another video as soon as I can get caught up with all this.